My name is Lisa Ferrario, and I have osteogenesis imperfecta, or brittle bones, and I've used a wheelchair all of my life. That doesn't stop me from doing the things that I love, being a wife, mother, daughter, sister, friend, and a great cook. The most important thing to me is my family and friends and the community that we have created. We celebrate life and entertain a lot. We have many dinners and parties, and all of them revolve around food and love. I hope you can use some of these recipes to do the same with your family. Hey everyone, I have Anisi here with me, and uh, today we are going to make Giada's chicken marsala meatballs that we had in Vegas. Uh, my cousin Angel was excited for this, Angel from Pennsylvania. So we wanted to demonstrate how to make them. Um, and it's a really easy recipe. We make chicken marsala a lot in general. Um, so to make the meatballs is kind of a fun, creative play on it. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself, but I didn't. But anyway, so um, Anisi is chopping up some chives right now and gonna be uh, slicing some mushrooms for the sauce afterwards. But I'm gonna show the meatballs. Right now, it's, it's pretty easy. So here I have a pound of ground chicken and it calls for a quarter cup of breadcrumb. But I can tell you that I feel like the past couple times that I've made them, they're a little bit loose. So I like to add a little bit more than a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. And then two tablespoons of milk, quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, um, a tablespoon of parsley, fresh parsley, an egg, a little bit of marsala wine, and then some salt and pepper. Mm, wine. Wine, marsala wine. Oh. So um, I am gonna get mixing that up and, uh, and then making them into the meatballs, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get them on the stove. She says to broil them. I don't like to broil my meatballs. I like to do them on the stove, so we're gonna do them that way instead. But um, Anissi, why are you not in school today? Uh, because students are, uh taking the PSAT test, mm -hmm. and um, I'm gonna do mine tomorrow. Tomorrow, so. yeah, so you get the day off today. Yeah. Lucky you. All right, I'm gonna start by adding the egg into our ground meat. Get that in there, one egg. Like I said, a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. She likes to use panko breadcrumbs. You can use whatever breadcrumb you like, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more than the quarter cup. Okay. Um, two tablespoons of milk. Then we have a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. You can use Asiago or whatever cheese you like, but Parmesan's good. A tablespoon of parsley. A tablespoon of the Marsala wine. Smell that. Smells good, huh? Yeah, I like Marsala wine. It smells amazing. And I usually put in a little more than a tablespoon, but that's okay. <laughs> and then, of course, some salt and pepper. I get this big mushroom. Okay. Wow, that's huge. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna get mixing these, and everyone knows from my paella episode how I feel about mixing raw chicken, but I'm gonna do it because it's worth it. So, here we go. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make them into meatballs about this size, right there on the plate. That's kind of big. But that's okay. It's less rolling then into balls, which is better for me. <laughs> Ooh, that one's really big, but that's okay. Again. Anisi went to prom this weekend, this past weekend. Had a really good time. Did you have a good time? I did. Her dress was beautiful. And she did her nails. Show your nails, Anisi. That's, I think she was almost, 
excited about that the very most, that she was allowed to have some nails, right? Yeah. Okay, the balls are made, and we are gonna head over to the stove and fry them for a little bit in some of my, I believe I'm gonna do the garlic olive oil from Tap and Taste today. That's probably the best. And then once those are frying up, we'll get Anisi stuff over to the stove to make the sauce. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're here at the stove. I have all of the meatballs in the olive oil on the stove cooking away. We want them to brown and get a little bit cooked through, but we're gonna cook them in the sauce as well. So we don't have to worry about that they're gonna be all the way cooked through. Let me see how they're doing, if they're browning. Ooh, yes, looking good. And they're staying together, which is always nice. Okay, so um, I think that these meatballs have browned nicely and we are ready to go ahead and take them out and set them aside here. They look great. They don't, like I said, they don't need to be cooked all the way through because they will cook some more in our sauce. Mmm, they smell delicious. Okay, so once those are done and we're gonna put them aside, I'm gonna go ahead and start the sauce. So I'm gonna get the mushrooms that Anisi chopped up. I'm gonna get those. And we're gonna put them in, again, I'm gonna add a little bit of the garlic olive oil. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of just some extra virgin, the Coratina from Tap and Taste is my favorite. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put in Anisi's mushrooms that she chopped along with the chives. Okay, stir those up a bit. Okay, so those are cooking nicely. And what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna add a probably about two thirds of a cup of the Marsala wine into the pan to deglaze it. Nice. And I'm also gonna add in some chicken stock. Probably about maybe half a cup, maybe a little more. That was probably a little more than half a cup. Okay. We're gonna stir that around. And then I'm gonna add in the meatballs back into the sauce here and have them nestle down in the liquid and cook for a bit. Woo, slippery little meatball, come back here. <laughs> I'm going to put the lid on those, and I have them uh, about a medium, medium low heat, and I'm just gonna let those cook for probably about mm, 20 minutes or so. That should be good, 20, 30 minutes. Just have them on low maybe. Come and check them and maybe turn them down if needed, but I'm gonna let those go, and we'll see what we have. We're done. The meatballs are done and they look fantastic. 
So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put them in this bowl here um, and get them ready for tonight for dinner. I know I'm gonna serve them tonight with some spaghetti, but uh, last week I served them with um, some grits, which was nice. Mm -hmm. um, everybody loved that. Or you can do them with some potatoes. So once I get them all in here, I'm going to pour the sauce over. Now Giada, if you look at her recipe, she adds um, some flour to thicken the sauce. I don't feel like I need to do that. So I just don't need that in there. I don't do it. But you can if you would like. Now for those of us who don't know what grits are, what are they? Grits is like a cornmeal. It's like a polenta, but it's very good. You can serve them with polenta. Polenta is a good idea too. All right, so I'm going to mm. pour the sauce over and get all the mushrooms on there. Okay, looks good. And you can garnish with a little bit of basil we have here. That can go on the very top in the middle there. Okay or parsley, whatever you have. But there it is, you guys, these are easy to make. I know Emily, one of my friends, is gonna make them this week, so Emily, send me your pics. Um, and Angel, I hope you make them as well. And until next time, ciao. Bye.